Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here with another episode of LEGO Worlds, and without further ado, with no time to delay, and all that other good stuff, we have gold bricks to find, we are at 89 gold bricks, 100 is our ultimate goal, we found a few new biomes lurking around, and we can explore those as we can, see if there are any gold chests waiting for us on the surface, and then if uh, the going gets tough, then we have the bazooka that we can rain down supreme on. All right, so this guy wants a picture of a yeti. Well, we know the yeti. Study the famous yeti. You have no idea what he looks like. Well, allow me to help you out, good sir. All right, discovery tool, and let's plop down the yeti. And we can put him here. Outstanding, and now we can grab our camera. Oh, he's running away. Come with me, good sir. The yeti is on the loose. All right, here we go. Holding E, taking the picture, and that's what a Yeti looks like. Thank you, ma'am. And what do we get in return? Anything useful? A donut. A jelly donut? Why would you bring a jelly donut into the barracks private pile? Well, I don't think she's gonna be giving us any gold bricks, so we'll put the donut away in our pocket for now and continue looking on. Um, so we've been into this winterized sort of biome before. Don't think we'll see anything too extravagant. However, there are some other biomes nearby that we can definitely take a look at and see if they are brand new. We've got an indication of a chest around here, possibly at the tippity top of the mountain. We definitely have a stud chest right here that we can make short work of, like so. But let's continue climbing to the top. Is this, is this like the North Pole, I wonder? But oh, looky there. We do have a chest and we've got a, oh geez, a skeleton spawner. Get out of here, skeleton. Nope, swing on and miss. Yeah, down you go. Let's take a look and see what's inside this bad boy here. Hopefully number 90 is waiting for us. No, just a base plate. Well, hmm. That's the kind of day it's gonna be, I believe. A day full of base plates and not getting things done, but, you know, at least these chests are easy to get to, and then we'll have to do the work and actually do some digging uh, to find the others. Come on, icy chest, do your magic. Uh, construction kit. Crap on a cracker, man. I want these gold bricks. Let's see, what's in the brick builds? Oh, that's going to be the Lego Creator, Changing Seasons, um, 31038, the, um, shoot, what would that be? The number of the uh, construction set, which is pretty cool. It's a real life construction set. All these gold pillars around, this is where we need to do the work. All kinds of underground chests right here, but I will continue getting the easy ones. And like I said, when push comes to shove, we will uh, go ahead and start digging, as we do. All right, so I think the other chest would be right around here. We'll pop that. Look, sort of look like rubies in there. And we'll go around. Skeleton wants to have us a bad time. Get out of here, Mr. Skeleton. Let's pop on in. Oh, he doesn't seem to care, at least until the sun goes down. And another construction kit. I tell you what, well at least we are working on that achievement to get a billion studs over the course of a game, which is cool, and a scrap car stack. Alright, so a lot of grinding, but more chest- Hey, get out of here, man! I was gonna leave you be! We'll get a health back, we'll hop on over to this chest before we start digging, because once we start digging, that's uh, you know, that's manual labor. We want to get the easy stuff out of the way first, and if we come across any of these uh, snow-faring people with gold bricks, we can do odds and ends favors for them as well. And I think for now, I believe I already discovered it, but just in case I didn't, we will discover uh, this skeleton spawner. Oh, we can discover those flowers as well. And where is that skeleton spawner, pray tell? It's right over here. All right. Up we go, let's discover. Oh, it's not a discovery. Oh, well, we removed the skeleton. Well, I guess that's one way to skin a cat, or skin bones, if you will. Let's go ahead and get this spawner out of the way and see what lies in the next chest. 
Come on, big money, big money. A hat. Well, crap. I mean, I guess not as bad as a construction kit, but still not something that I'm gonna actively wear. Let's see if these chests are nearby to the surface. If they're just below the surface here, we can grab those chests fairly quickly, but they're not, unfortunately. So it looks like the hard work will begin. I don't see any gold chest opportunities around here. Just some people wanting some odds and ends, so. Oh, we haven't discovered the snowman. Hello, good snowman. All right, so I guess we are going to start digging. It's getting nighttime anyway. So we are going to uh, start drilling, as it were, and see if we can get any luck. Looks like we haven't found the chest on the back side of this thing, did we? I wanna make absolutely sure uh, before we turn our attention from it. And I'm going to, <laughs> Scout's Honor, not put or not give anything to anyone again. I wanna keep, okay, so we did find that one. I'm not gonna give anything to anybody that we have because then we will just pop up in one of these gold chests again. Get out of here, skeleton. There we go. And the zombie king, troll king is after a squirrel, which is fine, I guess. All right, let's pull out the big gun and get to digging. So I will join you shortly when we discover what is in the next gold chest. Well, that's not a good aim. That's not where I'm aiming at all. There we go. See you in a moment. All right, in the cave network that that chest uh, happened to be in, we can take a look around and see if there are anything else that we might be interested in. It seems to go places, which is good for us if we don't have to dig uh, with the rocket. It's quicker if we dig with the rocket for sure, but it's more adventurous to dig on our own. All right, let's see what we got in here and another bow. We don't need another bow. We have a pretty cool explosive bow, so that's not going to help us out much, but it gives us one less thing that these chests can auto-generate. So I'm going to do some caving here and see if I can come across any other chests. Lo and behold, we do indeed have another one. The skeleton has been uh, keeping watch for us, which is cool. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll see what is in this chest. Hopefully we can catch a glimmer in the rocks and it looked like a base plate. Yeah, it was a, it was a base plate, which is not good for us. And hey, what do you know? We're on the surface. Well, that's what I call efficiency. All right, more gold chests in this direction. Skeleton, when do you know, when will you realize you've matched your meat? All right, so we'll do some more digging here and some more discovering while we are at it. And I'll be right back with you on the next chest. Our next chest of the day is uh, in the back corner of this cave network. And it looks like we do have a couple other gold chests nearby, which is pretty cool. Let's open this bad boy up, see what's inside. Come on, big money, number 90, please. And a construction kit. All right, let's see what we got. I tell you, this is getting monotonous. Oh, a corner deli though. So a pretty cool building. Not bad, but could be better. We could get more gold chests or more gold bricks from these chests, that is for sure. All right, onward and downward. All right, another chest parked precariously on the edge. I don't know if we'll be able to open it up from here. Fingers crossed, we might have to, yes. Let's open it up. We're sort of hanging off the edge, but that's fine. We've got another construction kit. I tell you what, what in the world is this one now? Better be something cool. It is going to, ah, the legendary coordinates. I like these. Give me all the legendary coordinates, fragments you want. All right, let's skydive here. Back to the surface, we still have plenty more, especially over here. This is like the gold rush over here. And is that a way in? No, that's just a way, it's just a slope. All right, so we will dig in this general area for sure. A lot of opportunity um, to get some of these gold chests. They are all over the place. So let's continue on downward. Aha! So just below the surface, you want to hide a chest from me. Well, that is fine because we will open you. Maybe not see what's in it. And it was a red hat, fireman, red fireman cap, hat, helmet of some sort. 
not very helpful. All right, let's get over here. Come on, monkey. Get off the thing. There we go. Come on, be good, please. This is a, a tough, and a construction kit. This is a tough road to hold, man. All right, what do we get now? Castle three. So we're getting all of the castle pieces found. We'll be able to build a king of castle that the likes of which he'd never dreamed of before once we get done with all of this. All right, looks like these two are our next destination. Without further ado, let's get shooting. All right, two more chests are here. One gold chest and then one of those icy covered chests. We're, we're, we're knocking them out. You know, we're getting all the parts we possibly can and we are getting more construction kit pieces or actual building pieces, which might come in handy if they are not included in the sandbox mode, but I want those gold bricks, man. This is the quest to 100 and we're stalling out. And another construction kit. I am thinking that maybe if we want gold bricks, we have to find people that want to give us gold bricks. We're at that point now. What do we have here? Ooh, another legendary coordinates to go with this one. We're finding a lot of legendary coordinates and I don't know if there are only three pieces per coordinate. Is it four pieces per coordinate? I am not sure. All right, we'll skydive out. Look for our next golden beacon, which seems to be right here by this rock. And we may have to drill straight down through it or this is one of those yeah, we've already got this chest, and we've already got that chest there. So it looks like another gold chest is right through the living rock of this place, and we're going to have to do some heavy-duty drilling on this boy. Yeah, it's like dead center. All right, I'll get to work on that and be right back with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have struck pay dirt. We have two randomly generated gold chests, and then we've got a few stud chests, which will help us achieve that one billion studs um there you go die spider one billion studs all right let's open this one hope for good things sink into the world because why not we can do it and another construction kit oh goody oh no you didn't you did not just put me a cave up all right let's get back down there i tell you what bazooka joe coming through there we go now back at it. All right, then our next chest right up here. Hoping for good things, probably not gonna get them. We've got a fire bomb type deal, a bob bomb, maybe. Um, big bomb. All right, and then what kind of construction kit did we get? I wonder. No legendary coordinate fragment. Oh, right there, a Tory gate. Well, that's pretty cool if you were constructing Japanese-type lands. What does a big bomb do? Oh! Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the surface and try that. Oh, if we could use that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my bazooka. But it looked like that big bomb is the end-all, be-all way to clear out land. We are going to put a crater in this thing a mile wide. All right, inventory the big bomb. Nope, don't butt squash. There we go, and boom! Yes, indeedy. That thing packs a punch. It doesn't have the fine control of the, um, of the bazooka, though. It doesn't detonate, like, right away. Come on, skeleton, get out of here. Oh, you, you guys want some too? Well, have a big bomb. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't stand a chance on the big bomb. But I tell you, that big bomb is nothing if not effective. We could just keep throwing it in that hole and we can dig out the Grand Canyon in a matter of moments, man. How about you? There you go. Yeah, that hole drill responsibly bit. With the big bomb, there is no such thing. Wow, that's incredible. So very good. I think that's bedrock, actually. Well, that blew me up. Is that bedrock? Nope, still goes down some more. 
Yeah, not as refined as the bazooka, but fun nonetheless. If you have a massive hole to dig, the big bomb is definitely for you. It gets the job done for sure. But I'll go back to the, to the bazooka and do some more fine-tune digging, and I'll be right back with you with our next chest. The next chest is nestled right down here, nice and snug. Let's open her up and see what we've got. Hopefully another weapon like the big bomb would, would be pretty awesome, but nope, of course not. You get one thing cool and then you don't get cool anymore. All right, let's see what we've got here. Is it a, yes, it is a fragment. So we will take that all day, every day. Let's get back up to the surface and continue on our mission. Looks like we've got one more golden spire over here we can check. And then we might move biomes to see if another biome is more beneficial for our needs. All right, our next gold chest. Let's see if anything can come from this one. If not, we are moving biomes. Uh, there is a woodland biome just to our north. And that's a, a nice hairdo if you are all about the hair. But I'm not. All right, let's head over here. We've got one out in the water there. And maybe possibly a new land over here we can explore. Got some mushrooms over here. And I don't know if we've seen sort of a mushroom biome before. But it will uh, definitely be interesting to check out for sure. Maybe run into some new people, some new animals, new creatures, and all that good stuff. Fungus forest. Indeed, the fungus forest. All right, we will unlock a ton of fungus for this. And I'm getting a strong Super Mario Brothers vibe. And indeed, we do have someone that we can help, which is pretty awesome. And I see on the map a mushroom chest. If that doesn't scream Super Mario Bros, I don't know what does. All right, scientists. Hello. This mushroom has become corrupted by something. Can you restore it to its usual self? All right, we will accept it. All right, we need pink, I guess. All right, let's grab the painting tool and let's choose our color. And let's see if we have a pink. Is it flashing for us? Do we know pink? Yes, we do. The bright purple. Skadoosh. No more corruption. We are done. I think that'll do the trick. It's looking way better. We are finished and we get... Hey, you had a gold brick, lady. You had a gold brick. Don't you dare change on me. Or maybe you didn't. What do you want? Move, remove all the surrounding mushrooms in case they the become corrupted too. The objects that you too. need for this quest are definitely nearby. Have a good look for them. Look high. Look low. Look medium. They're usually hiding in plain sight. Well, I think this is actually the opposite. Come here, you little. Ah, 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 ah. All right, you just head on that way. I've got a job to do. With this being labeled as a gold brick, I think if we work our way through the, uh, the little quest log here, we can get it done. So let's remove all of these mushrooms. Make sure that none exist so we don't get contaminations. Three. No, don't discover. We want our... Well, fine. I'll just beat them up then. Huh. They're resistant to punching. Let's see if they are resistant to laser pistols. They are resistant to laser pistols. Are they resistant to explosives? Gives us a good reason to get the bazooka out. Ganoosh! Are you still there? All right, so that's three and three. Let's shoot these over here. No, let's shoot these over here. Three and two. All right, we're still working. Let's head over here and shoot these guys out. Maybe they count as well. Probably not what she had in mind. Two and one. That guy is stubborn as all get out, isn't he? All right, one small mushroom, and I believe it's this guy right back here. Let's pop him. No, that wasn't the one. 
All right, what mushroom are you looking for, lady? Let me see. Wherefore art thou? Because is that a big mushroom or a small mushroom? It looks like a small one. Let's see if this is the one she was talking about. No? How about this? It looks like they're coming back. Can we delete them? All right, we can remove them from afar now. Fine, we'll go ahead and discover. Can we remove that guy? There we go. And now we get a pretzel. Now she's got her gold brick out. Now she's ready to go. It would be really great to get a chem lab set up so I can start studying the mushrooms. And I believe we have a chem lab from that uh, distant world. Uh, one of our first worlds, in fact. Is a chem lab flashing about? Well, crap on a cracker. Dang it. Well, we'll keep our eyes out for a chem lab, so we'll definitely need to hit up more of the um, chests in this area, and maybe we can discover that chem lab. So close. So close. All right. I want to get this mushroom chest before we break for the day and call it quits for now. Hopefully it's readily available, because I think it'd be pretty cool to see a mushroom chest. And indeed, right here. Let's open this mushroom chest to close out the episode. Here we go. Open her up, and what do we have inside? A uh, construction kit. Of course we do. But is it the chem lab? Please tell me it's the chem lab. We need it. It is indeed. Awesome. So now let's get back to old girl before we end the episode. And we will get her her chem lab. And uh, she wants her chem lab. That's fine. We'll talk to her. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and place it down, maybe? Chemistry lab. There you go. Enjoy your mushroom study, my dear. Oh, now she wants to talk. Oh, now we place it. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Chem lab up and running, and you even got two, girl. Kind of scooted over like that, but she's got her chem lab. We've got our gold bricks. We've hit 90. That's pretty outstanding stuff. And we're halfway there. Between 80 and 90, we've got 10 out of the 20 gold bricks, and we've got a few more gold brick opportunities me, in the fungus forest. a master builder. But to officially make it to that rank, you're going to need to collect an additional 10 gold bricks. Keep it up. You can do it. Don't we let will me do down. It. And we will continue on in the next episode. Pretty cool. We're definitely going to help out these people up here if we can and search the fungus forest. But until then... Thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next LEGO Worlds video. Take care.